All right, and continuing on with using Cordova to test mobile applications and build mobile applications, I wanted to talk a little bit about iOS specifically when it comes to mobile web development and mobile app development with Cordova. Now, I have here uh, Safari, and in Safari, by default, you don't get any developer tools. Uh, Safari has a develop menu item that uh, you can enable to appear. And the way you get that to show up is in the Safari menu, go to Preferences, go over to the Advanced tab, and then down at the bottom here you can check the checkbox, show the Develop menu in Menu Bar. Once you do that, right here, this Develop menu will show up. So that's how you enable Safari for doing mobile development. And then if you have an iOS device connected to your computer, you can actually usually see it right here. So if it has a copy of Safari running or a Cordova hybrid application which has the web view inside of it, um, you would see the iOS device here. Now I have an iOS device connected to this computer but it's not showing up in this menu. And one of the reasons is you also have to enable your iOS device. So here is a uh, screen share with my iOS device. This is an iPhone 7 and if you come down here you can see there's Safari. I'm going to tap on Safari, scroll down to the bottom of this, go to the advanced menu. Inside the advanced menu there's the web inspector. I have to turn this on as well. So I need to have the web inspector turned on inside of the Safari Advanced Menu settings on my iOS device and I need to have the Develop Menu turned on here. So there it is. There's the iPhone now showing up. This will allow me to view. If I open up Safari on my device and I go to Google, you can see I went to Google. If I click on that now here it is. Here's the web inspector for the page that I'm on right now. So this is what I'm seeing on my phone and now I have this web inspector so I can look at the network. Refresh this page. the elements on the page. I can go down just like in the Chrome Developer Tools. I can interact with the page and look at the debugger. I can look at the console. I can see if there's any errors happening and debug the errors that I've got with my hybrid application or with my mobile website that I'm building. 